All right, class, let's do a few uh, Excel assessments from Chapter 2. Uh, some of the questions I'm getting, uh, let's start with uh, Task 3, uh, where you do a mixed reference. And I5, okay, start with an equal sign. I need the total emission fees collected from Altamont Spring Fares. Well, this is attendance information, it looks like. And this is how much they collected. So I want the 2018 Altamont. So I want this value right here from 2018. That's how many showed up. And that's was the fee charge. So it wants a mixed reference. So I can see down here below, I'm going to fill this information down. So in this case, I don't want row 14 to shift on me as I copy it down. We're not going left or right, so we don't need to worry about A or C. We're going to stay in column B as we copy down. But we don't want row 14 to move down. or Otherwise, we'd be multiplying by nothing. So that's the mixed reference. We put a dollar sign before the 14. And now we fill it down. So let's go ahead and do that with the fill handle. And boom, complete it. All right, that's the mixed reference. Uh, next task is 8 I'm getting asked about. So let's go to that. Oh, VLOOKUPs. Well, you may not do this a lot, but let's take a look at it. N H and H 15. All right. All right. So let's get some help for V lookups. Let's type it in here B. V lookup and bring up the assistant for that. Here we go. All right. I'm going to get this out of the way from the numbers. All right. So determine the 2018 percentage of total for the city listed in H14. So H14 is the lookup value apparently. So let's put that in there. The whole table using the range A5 to H11. So let's select that A5 to H11 goes right here. And Column index and index is a number, right? So we're going to count the columns all the way to H, starting with column A. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I think that's H. It is. That's 8. So that's the 8th column over. And that is it. That is V lookups. All right. The next one is payments. Okay, number 9. This will come in handy when you're buying a car or house. All right, the loan worksheet and C9 interpayment. C9 is right here. So what is this? This is uh, Orlando area job fair facilities loan by location. All right, so let's kind of see if we understand the values. Interest rate is 4.5%, number of payments 12. So these are loans for facilities. Now, if there's only 12 payments, I'm guessing that's monthly and there's you, you really have a year of payments and you're doing one a month. This interest rate looks like it's annual. So I, we, I'm going to have to convert that to monthly because if that were if that were uh, a monthly rate, your total rate would be 30 plus percent. And that's just crazy. So we know that is an annual interest rate. I actually should have labeled it, but it didn't. So right here we need some help. So we're going to bring up the function PMT. Ah, there it is and get some help filling this out. So the rate, oh, and also we need some uh, absolute values. Okay, we'll do that last. So the rate is right here, and we know that that is probably given to us annually, so we're gonna divide that by 12. And the number of periods, we're gonna reference that cell. There are 12, and the payment would be, well, it's for Altamont Springs would be this one. Okay, the values are here, but let's make sure it's formatted right. So we want to make sure we return a positive value. So I'm going to make the payment, ordinarily the result of this would be a negative, negative number because you're making payments, but we want the answer to be positive. So I'm going to make this present value negative. And then we want a uh, absolute cell reference for uh, B5 and B6. So in B5, we want um, uh, dollar signs in front of the B and the 5. And we want the same thing for B6. And I think that should do it. Let's click Enter. Oh, copy it down. That's right. Because we did the uh, 
we wanted positive values for B5 and B6 because we're going to copy it down. But we don't want the value for uh, the facilities cost to stay static. We want it to change. So there you go. That's done. That's kind of cool. You'll, you'll need payment function. That will come in handy. Let's submit it and see how we did. And uh, it did an update. Great. Look, 30%. But well, there weren't that many questions. So right here again, the ellipsis lets you view, view your submission. And we'll jump to it real quick. And the this is the one I want, the one I just completed. Uh, I did 3 out of 10, so I guess that's why I got 30%. I did, let's see, 3, 8, and nine so let's go to three and take a look real quick that's two and you can see that oh, wow these are long okay so number three um i can come here and look in cell i5 here's the formula there it is and i think they're going to have you they start with an equal sign showing you multiple ways of completion so that's kind of handy so go through this and view your submission if you're not sure how to complete a task do the ones you can do submit it go back and view how you did and look up how to do them correctly for the ones you didn't know how to do and it's, it's probably the best way to get through the excel there is math it's a little harder but i know you can do this so good luck